I think the uh, Story of God Bible Commentary series is important because it brings together for the readers um, not only what's going on in the world of the New Testament itself, but it connects our readers to what happened in uh, the story of Israel, which is the story of God. Uh, so often our readers will read books in the New Testament and they don't always make those connections to what was going on in the past in the history of Israel. And sometimes we think that what God did in the Old Testament was sort of like plan A and New Testament is plan B. And I think the Story of God Bible Commentary series really helps the readers to uh, make those connections that this is an ongoing story of God working in the world, reaching out to humanity and offering them salvation uh, ultimately through Jesus Christ. For the commentary, uh, First and Second Thessalonians, I, I always wanted to write a commentary on First and Second Thessalonians, so I was really pleased when they asked me to do this. Um, it's not an epistle that people would normally uh, think about. Uh, normally when we think about Paul, we think about Romans and Galatians, justification by faith, righteousness, and you don't really end up with all of these various uh, theological motifs in those epistles. What you really do end up with in the uh, letters to the Thessalonians is uh, Paul's desire to infuse hope into a difficult situation. Uh, the Thessalonians are a group of people who um, they're waiting for the return of Jesus. Paul has left town uh, in the middle of the night, according to Acts 17. And although he praises them for their hope, their faith, and their love, um, they seem to be lacking a little bit in the area of hope later on. Uh, people have died, and so it really does bring for those of us today uh, as we are in a situation that is difficult to recognize that we're not the first people uh, to uh, question what's going on around us, to wonder, did I make the right decision in following this person called Jesus? Um, and it helps us to realize that there is hope in Jesus.